hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i have non-wax empties for the month of june and uh before we go any further i will tell you other than this baby but this little pinky fingernail the nail polish is doing pretty good um i am wearing essie's bikini sotini on my nails um it's a classic color from essie so um highly recommend this one uh, kind of in between my favorite formula and my least favorite for formula for actually um for polish i don't know essie's kind of hit and miss you just never know what kind of formula you're gonna get it's kind of in the middle i had to put two coats on so that is essie's bikini sotini and something really light and simple this is like the perfect if you're you know beach season right now if you want to bring some stuff in your beach bag go to the beach um and you might go out for not a fancy dinner but if you go out for a meal maybe at the beach or just down the way or something like that before you go home this is one of the best lip products and in fact i like it so much this is the first one i tried the clarins oh where are we in french um clarins paris instant light natural lip perfector this is in number five i have a total of four of these this is the first one i got it's a sponge tip applicator which i'm not as uh, finicky about myself I get so many compliments on when I when I do wear this on my lips. Uh, it's super simple. It is the perfect little lip perfecter for the summertime. So again, ladies out there, if uh, you want to throw something into your beach bag, that's again, this is it. Just a real, a real light wash of color. It comes in many colors. They're not like super bold, vibrant colors. So even if the packaging is really dark, it's more of a wash of color. And it's moisturizing and it's not sticky so I highly recommend again this is number five so there you go all right so when it comes to June's empties I have a little this a little that and something I <laughs> something I was supposed to show you was actually in a photo last month's empties but I actually ended up using it to put my keep my phone upright which is right here um, so it was behind it. I was like, oh my gosh, duh. <laughs> so although it wasn't empty over a month ago, I'm going to show it to you. So why don't we start there? We'll start with skincare. And it is Luna. Uh, this is the Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. This is amazing. It is so expensive. I did not repurchase it yet. <sighs> you know, there's just something about this. I don't know. It's just way too expensive. You know what's expensive when it comes with its own holder. <laughs> It is absolutely, it was awesome. I used it at nighttime, it is a sleeping oil. Um, especially in the winter time where I start peeling, I will get really dry around this area and I start to peel. So it really did help me in the winter months. And so it's got retinol and blue tansy. So, and of course in the, I don't have it either, but uh, Good Jeans is the other one that I really enjoy. All right, so this is the box. Here, but this is the package of the last one I used of the rose petal eye mask by nature love now I found this box set of five supposed to be five and this is where I had four because there were five packets it wasn't until I opened it I went oh someone opened a packet so it was all dry inside the one so I had four uses out of this uh, brightening and hydrating is just something I found at winners in Canada for five dollars and 99 cents and I think I actually misquoted and said I got these for 7.99 I got technically in the box there was supposed to be five so five for 5.99 I still pay for the one that someone busted open so I really enjoy these um, if I have no I have to go to an event or something uh, my eyes my under eyes show my age the most shows my tiredness um, if I've been in the Sun everything is right in here like quite literally like boom right there so I really enjoy them and oh look at this She's like half in the sun and half not in the sun. Are you with that? Ilya look impressed. She's like, oh, I didn't want to be on TV. Uh, anyway, I went through a package of my Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Remover Cowlets. Love them, will repurchase. Will not repurchase this. In fact, I didn't even finish it because I was like, this does nothing. It almost pills into my pores. This is the, um, the Roche, or Roche uh, Sublime Energy base it's all in French too so this is the base so it's like a primer here um, anti-aging skin smoothing base something and then it goes into Spanish and French so I didn't enjoy this in fact like I said there's a little bit left at the bottom I really did try to use this I I used it then I put it away and found something else and I used it again but 
I noticed that the last time I used it, like my pores that are bigger in this area really pilled up. It really showed that I had something on my face. Anyway, and from Sarah from Things I Love 86, she sent over a care package with botanical um, mask pack. It looks like it's a Korean brand and um, I, don't, I don't know what this name is. Something and acai berry at the bottom there. Uh, this is very nice. I love masks. I find them very relaxing, especially with a bath and you guys, I just love it. It regenerates, rejuvenates and just gives that moisture back into my skin that I find that although I'm still saying I'm oily, I'm starting to lean to oily normal and in the winter like normal to dry again in those certain patches. So what have you. All right, some household, household items. Dawn's Ultra... I, and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because it's smelly. <laughs> um, the Thai dragon fruit, just oh, dishwashing, like dish soap. I love it. It smells so good and it's gone. And of course, I went through a Downy Unstoppable in wash scent booster in the scent Dreams. I do enjoy these. It smells so good. Oh, oh my God. I love my clothes smelling good. But something that doesn't smell the greatest, in fact, it kind of stinks, but it does a trick. And it's good for the environment and you do get the last drop again you guys see this in most of my empties there is the dropper here and there's literally nothing left of this like nothing i like that about a company all right we have dove go sleeveless unscented 48 hour antiperspirant with nutrium moisture um i still had some left i'm just gonna oh yeah like it i had some left but when I popped the lid off one day, apparently I had it rigged up there so far that it popped off. I'm like, okay, I think I'm done. Uh-huh. All right. And then I have Crest 3D White uh, Radiant Mint Toothpaste. Always go through pretty much one toothpaste every month. Um, I decided to include wallflower bulbs in this particular empties video. I did go through an, um, a beautiful day and an endless weekend. So, and this weekend is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. I find, and then here as you can sort of see a little bit more. Again, you, I, I never use them up to the point where they're actually dry. I feel that's not safe. That's my own opinion. Um, but again, here, I, I stopped this one because it really lost its scent, the beautiful day one. Um, and I also, I have one plug down the hall here and one down towards my front of my door. The one at the front of my door is just a regular wallflower bulb or bulb, uh, wallflower plug-in from Bath & Body Works. The one down here is still from Bath & Body Works, but it's one of those ones with a little light in it. And I find that one draws way faster, the oils. So um, I end up going through the one in the hallway probably about two weeks before I go through that one. So what I'll do is I'll take the one that's over here and replace it and put it over here for the whatever long, you know, however long it needs to get be done. <laughs> and then I'll change it up, put new ones. All right, some makeup products. And Gail, you know how much I love this. Elmace Makeup Eraser Sticks. I went through a pack of these, which is generally what you'll see every month because there's 24 of these. And you know, for work days, I do use them every day. And then I struggled and then I dropped it. <laughs> but it was pretty much done anyway. NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in this color Soft Beige. I really like this. I would repurchase it. I'm just working on something that I just had in my back stock. It has a sponge down below and, a, and the mirror above, but as you can see, it fell. And I didn't have much left in it anyway. I find this only lasts me like maybe a month and a half, but I guess that's pretty good because some people go through makeup like that really quickly. I'm fortunate not to have to worry about that too much. Um, and it's very, it's inexpensive compared to other powders. Um, and I do wear powder uh, foundation because um, I have freckles and I don't want to hide my freckles. I'm actually, I like my freckles. They keep me looking young, I think, and it hides any blemishes for the most part. <laughs> I finally gave up on these two items here. Um, I'm still yet to find an, an, a black eyeliner to do in my waterline above that stays above and doesn't drag down here. I guess I have oily or liquidy eyes, I don't know. So this is, or was from, this is in the color Legend. This is Urban Decay. It was supposed to be a waterproof eyeliner, 
just a pencil eyeliner, but I'm pretty much, I mean, come on, I, why? It's good, it's the best one I've tried so far. In fact, I tried the Marc Jacobs, I had a sample Marc Jacobs eyeliner, which every big guru totally talks about. And they're like, yeah, I use it for my waterline above and it never drops yet. Well, apparently that doesn't happen for me because I tried it the other day and I couldn't put it on today because I'm like, um, yeah, yesterday I had it all down in here. So whatevs. So I went through a NYX. Um, this is in the color light. They have a light, a medium, and dark. These are the like multi-purpose sticks. I use this to use down below on my wa my waterline down here. This is in the light. I use this to see if I like this one over the Rimmel scandalized nude color. I prefer, after all of this, the scandalized uh, from Rimmel over the NYX. I found that the Rimmel one's more creamy and just glides on better. And this one, I feel like I just had to keep going over it to get product. I mean, I've been using this for a, quite a while, so it's time for it to go. All right, let's get on to some Bath & Body Works products that I've used up that were non-candle. This was, I believe this is, this, oh man, this could have been Bath & Body Works or Body Shop, I'm not sure. A poof. My general rule of thumb is if I go to through two shower gels, I get rid of my poof after that because they do obviously attract a lot of um, bacteria in that. So, uh, two soaps, Perfect Beach Day, uh, is from and they're sorry, uh, blah, my words today. They are the gen oh, sorry gentle foaming hand soap. That's the perf my preference is that type of soap. And this one in Perfect Beach Day is described as watery melon, young coconut, and sparkling bergamot. So that was very nice. This is obviously an older packaging. And Garden Strawberries, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. And it just says strawberries. So that's what it is. And I went through a lotion. I take this, I took this one to work with me, so it's all gone. Juicy Georgia Peach Nourishing, nourishing Hand Cream. This is from last year, so 2016, around this time. So I picked up that. And then we have the Bathe and Gardens Boo Berry Mansion. I don't, I couldn't find the write-up when I went, looked for their scent list. I couldn't find Blueberry Matchin on their scent list. But Sarah sent this to me. I think it was Sarah? I think it was Sarah. She sent this to me and I tried it and I really liked it. it was like Blueberry is like, like definitely sugary and all sorts of berries mixed together. It's very nice and the bathing garden is beautiful. Just wish that they would ship to Canada. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Body Shop, the, my last one, and I didn't go but to the SAS. I was, it's not a rant video. I did not feel the desire nor creativity or anything like that to go into Bath & Body Works or into the Body Shop during this SAS. Um, I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel like I needed anything. I think when it comes to the bath products that I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to try to dwindle down as much as I can. I'm still going to buy some, but it's going to have to be stuff I really, really, really love. Um, and I'd not say that I buy stuff just because of, I buy it. I do buy for gifts and things like that. Would I, I would have repurchased anything of the, the early harvest raspberry from the body shop if I did go to their SAS. But the manager at my local store is a cow. Um, she's, yeah, she's just mean. I mean, again, I don't say that, I don't obviously say that very often or that kind of thing on my channel, but I'm telling you, when I walk into that store, both her and one of her assistants are just horrible. And I, I barely go in there and I, they don't know me. Like, they don't know me. I'm just an everyday person. And then that's even bad too, because if I'm getting bad customer service, I wonder what other people are getting. And I kind of feel bad for all the nice people who actually work in that store. They have to put up with them. But it's funny because those two are the ones that I always see in the store and it's all the others that keep switching out. Hmm. Anyway, back to this. I would absolutely repurchase this uh, perhaps down the road in the SAS at Christmas time. But it is the Body Shop's Early Harvest Raspberry Body Butter. It is absolutely gorgeous. All gone. Loved it to bits. And I paired that with Rose Jam Shower Gel from Lush. You guys know I love Rose Jam. I have two more of this size. I have one in my shower right now. Basically, I buy enough at Christmas time, like the buy one, get one free, to last me a whole year. Like, obviously, you use other things, but I get enough of these so I can um, 
have some in stock all year round because I just really do love it. So you guys, that is everything. And this is a really long video and I apologize, but uh, yeah, so that is everything. And I can't believe June is done. Holy cow. So as always, you guys be safe and have fun.